are really focused on finding happiness this week. It's not an easy quest, but it's something we certainly all strive for. So I decided to try out some of the recommended steps, according to an author, and I had mixed results. Explorer and author Dan Buettner researched 20 million people around the world for 10 years and came up with this list of the 11 keys to happiness. Number one, limit social media. Number two, have four to five good friendships. Number three, work part time. Number four, pay down debt. Number five, meditate. Six, exercise an hour a day. Seven, eat five servings of vegetables. Eight, sleep between eight and nine and a half hours a night. Nine, join a religion. Ten, volunteer. And eleven, don't overthink. I decided to try out some of Butner's methods. The first three I tried, exercise, vegetables, and sleep. The first two were relatively easy, or so I thought. I already eat a lot of vegetables on a daily basis, so I thought five servings of vegetables would be a piece of cake, so to speak. Not exactly. Five servings of vegetables actually took a lot of thought and preparation. I did, however, feel fuller longer. Bonus. <laughs> Finish them all. Finish them all off. Exercising, already a big part of my life. But even with my dedication, an hour every single day is really hard with my work and mom schedule. So I shoot for an hour four to five days a week. And I must say, I do feel more energetic, happier, and overall better on the days I do work out. You got it. Sleep. Oh, sleep. I used to know you before kids' work and life got in the way. Me going to sleep and trying to get eight to nine and a half hours of sleep every night is actually more stressful for my life. That would put me going to bed at six o'clock and then I would only get eight hours. With the kids, that's just not gonna happen. I do, however, get more sleep on the weekends and I do feel better. So vegetables, exercise, and sleep. Three steps down, several more to go. Well, tomorrow, social media limitations and good friendships. We explore how and if these steps really do lead to happiness. And we want you to send us your pictures and your thoughts on what makes you happy. We're putting together a list of 11 things that make you, our viewers, happy coming up on Thursday. So we want to hear from you. You can email us newstips at WBIR.com or find us on social media.